Hey guys, it's Mr. Danish and today we're going to take a look at how to make invincible units. Um, invincible units are basically units with uh, 0 HP and um, HP is short for uh, hit points in case you didn't know and um, they can of course not be killed uh, something you probably already figured out when I called them invincible but um, whatever. Uh, this was originally uh, invented by a guy called scenario underscore t underscore c and he apparently did a lot of work with uh, finding magic numbers for each vampires. Now I'm not quite sure what magic numbers are so I won't give you a definition or anything but uh, what I know is um, that magic numbers are normally high numbers that are when used in a trigger properly um, can give a different effect from the trigger than what you'd expect. So we're going to use two of these magic numbers um, that he probably found um, to make um, this little champion over here invincible. Now it this will get a little confusing so I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Now head over to triggers tab and make a new trigger. Um, the settings can be whatever you like. Now we'll uh, call these two magic numbers we're going to use uh, magic number one and magic number two and magic number one will be six five five three six and magic number two is much longer so pay attention four two nine four nine six seven two nine six so that's magic number one and magic number two now we're going to make um, four effects and they are going to be a change HP effect, a damage object effect, another change HP effect and a another damage object effect. Now the first change uh, HP effect. You'll have to, uh, source player doesn't matter, just um, make sure Yay. the object is um, the champion. Then take magic number one and minus it with the original max health of the unit you want to make invincible. So in this case the max health will be uh, the same as 70 because that's the max health for a champion. So take the magic number 1, minus it with 70 and uh, the res result write it in the quantity box down here below. So that's in this case going to be uh, six, uh, 6, 5, Five, oh no, sorry, uh, six, five, five, four, six, six. Yeah, and um, next effect will be the damage um, object effect. Set object to be the champion. Yay. Now, this time you will have to take the magic number two and minus it with the original max health of the unit you want to make invincible. So that will be in this case. Let's see. That will be four two nine four nine six seven two two six. All right. Um, so it's the result you will have to write down in the quantity box. Remember that. N new effect. Uh, change object HP again. Set object to be the champion Yay. once again. Quantity box. There you will just have to write the original max health. So that's seventy very simple for once and uh, the next effect will be the damage object effect and set the object to be the champion and here you will also have to type in the original max health and that's 70 so very simple um, now we'll just make it all green and let's go see if it works as you can see Yay. it works our little champion has 0 out of 70 HP which means he can't be killed. Yay. If you look at his little avatar, whatever you would call it, there's no green bar. Yes. Nor at the, um, um, if you look up at the game screen here. Yes. So um, it could Yay. be useful for um, if you're going to create a, uh, a um, cutscene uh, or a cinematic uh, scenario. Um, I guess you could also use this uh, invincible unit effect for um, zombie scenarios or something like that. I've never tried that but um, I'm pretty sure some people have tried it at some point. Uh, so yeah. 
anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys can find uses for this is this effect. And um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, please come rate and subscribe. And take care, guys. See ya.